But this goes way back, because Kevin, you were talking about him in the mm -hmm. amateur days with yeah. the all-white gear. Yeah, he was. Uh, he got some help from Canvas back in the day, and I remember, I'm like, who is this guy? He's like hovering around the top 10 on his Honda and decked out in all white. His dad was so meticulous. I'd watch him after motos, pull the liner out of the helmet, the bike was spotless, all this white gear. I'm like, what is this all about? And now it makes sense now. Yeah, you were all white gear back then? All white. Um, no sponsors, just, you know, Canvas helped me a lot. And... Uh, yeah, back then sets they're making was either all black or all white, and then yeah, just that's what I was wearing. I remember your breakout here at Loretta's Super Mini, I think, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. My best year was yeah, Super Mini. Yes. Got, got one title. What uh, what law? Yeah, because again, you were in the hunt, you were battling, and then all of a sudden that year you like stepped forward, and then obviously you've been on the rise ever since. What did that for you that Super Mini year to really get you going? Um, I guess. Moving up to the bigger bike, I think I got better and better. Yeah. Well, and spending more time in the States, riding with faster guys, that kind of pushed me. Like I said, I had this like uh, little <laughs> story from Loretta's. Okay. My very, very first year, I came here on 65s. Jeez. And I was a 10 second, a lap slower than uh, like guys like Pierce, Robertson, uh, Masterful. Okay. Uh, my, my first year, Masterful was racing you were 10 seconds off. So, yeah, I mean, Got a, a little lap. work to do. Okay. A lap, so. Jeez. Yeah, good memories here. Uh, were you going back and forth? Like, how did you even qualify for Loretta's that year? <clears throat> um, I mean, luckily, I, for some reason, I quali qualified on, we, we uh, didn't know we had, like, West Regionals. Yeah. And, like, you know, there's areas of Regionals. Yeah. So each, like, ver like first few years, I only did the West Regionals. Just one race. Just all your eggs in one basket. All fingers in one. crossed. <laughs> yes. And fingers crossed, and I qualified fourth, fourth. So That's excellent. Good so, enough. Yeah, it's funny because very, very first year I qualified four, four. Yeah. Went back to Japan. Um, I did a race there, and some <laughs> um, lapper got in my way and then broke both of the wrists. Jeez. So how about the year? Next year we came back. I think same week I qualified like four, four, and came here. Did you, I mean, that's a lot of pressure, obviously, to fly over from Japan. You have one race to get it done. Did you know the pressure was there, or were you so young that you probably didn't even realize that, oh, man, I can't mess this up? Yeah, I didn't really know how big the deal was. Yeah. Like, maybe just me or everyone's different, but for me, like, racing till, like, 250, I'd, I feel like I didn't really take it as a job or, you know, just kind of riding around, being in this industry, so... Um, yeah, that's how I went. You didn't feel the pressure of getting on a plane and flying all the way over here. Like your dad was that cool. He kept, did he keep it that cool for you? Yeah, like that's like, awesome. Like I'm telling these stories many times. Like I came back from school one day. My dad goes, "We're going to the United States for ten days next week." I'm like, "All right." <laughs> that was it. Excellent. Yeah. That was your reaction. Yep. And wow. Loretta's was the thing. You you were aware of it? How big it was? How important it was? Or no? I no. I, no. Uh, yeah, no knowledge. No knowledge about... That's probably any, the best thing. Any, like, pro motocross or supercross. That was what? probably better, though. Yeah. There's no pressure on you then, right? Uh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>